down here in Carnegie Gym um, with Kieran and uh, Kieran and Jack. So Kieran and Jack are doing an eight-hour arm workout, raising money for Cancer Research UK. So their grand was diagnosed with cancer. Um, so this is the first. What have we been like the first five minutes? Ten minutes? <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. yeah, been down here like I've been working out for an hour and a half. I'm like, right, I'm done. They've got like another seven and a bit hours to go. Um, <laughs> But I'll probably come back once you guys are almost done and check out and see how you guys yeah, like, see, do it. See the state of us. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to link down below a link to their Just Giving page. If you go and donate, it's for a great cause. And uh, yeah, we'll check in with these guys in a little bit. I am just sitting here in the middle of the Kingsgate Shopping Centre in Fairmont, waiting on my parents who are shopping. And um, I just had lunch with them, it was pretty nice. Um, and I went down to the Specsaver store in Dunn um, because they're selling selling, well, for charity, doing cakes and stuff for R and IB. Um, so I got some cakes and we made some money there, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think we've seen a lot of charity today, it's pretty cool. Um, there's even something going on in the Doug Family Glen for charity, so it's nice. Oh, I'm heading back into Community Leisure Centre. It's been about four hours since I saw Kieran and Jack, so I'm going to see how they're doing. So I'm back here in the gym, found Kieran, see her. Um, I was yeah. going to ask you, um, would you mind explaining like why it's important to what you guys are doing, why it's important? Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's important to us because our grand's recently been diagnosed with uh, with bowel cancer. And then we know that everyone at one point in their life is going to be affected by cancer. Um, so that's the reason that everyone should donate to this worthy cause. And then once something like this happens to you personally, it gives you that extra, you know, it gives you that extra boost. nudge and boost yeah. to, to do something yeah. about it. So. Um, well, yeah, we're, we've, we've raised over £600 so far. That's awesome. And um, we're hoping to raise a bit more. There's actually some more. donations going nice. there, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, awesome. Another thing, though, that we're ho sort of hoping for is just people that do get affected, when they get the news, they can try and influence the member that just yeah. got the news as well. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it was only a couple of months ago we found that we managed to organise this pretty quick. So yeah. if other people can do something, uh, something quite similar. Yeah, that's great. It's great to raise awareness for it, for what you yeah, guys are doing as well. Um, what type of cancer was it? It was bowel cancer. Bowel cancer, yeah. yeah. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below to the Just Giving page where you can donate. And uh, good luck to you guys for the next four hours. Right, and we'll catch up. I'll probably head pop down with Amy and catch you guys at the end. So. Sounds good. So I was just catching up with Kieran and Jack. Um, great to see they're about ha almost halfway there. Um, I'll catch up with them later on. So it's great to see what those guys are doing. Um, I'll probably explain it, I don't know, I think Kieran's been in the vlog before, but he's uh, my sister's boyfriend, they've been like, they've been uh, going out for like a couple of years now, um, so it's love to support those guys and what they're doing. Um, please do go down, please do head to the link down below, donate, show some support, um, as the saying goes together, we can beat cancer. But it's, um, I'm just back at home and it's, it's kind of quiet because I'm the only one here. You know, if you watch the vlogs, um, I figured you're probably going to realise eventually um, so I thought I would just talk about it now, um, to save the ambiguity. As now I haven't, re I've tried to avoid talking about it, um, and I haven't vlogged at all over the last week. It just, it's just, it's been hard. It's not easy to talk about, but um, so Gracie passed away um, earlier in the week. Gracie was my um, golden retriever. She was seven and a half. And uh, yeah, the weekend I was at Texture, which at the time of recording this is last weekend. Um, if that is, she she basically got admitted to taken from our vet, local vet, to um, the University of Edinburgh vets, like the specialist ones, animal hospital, if you like. Um, and before that, she she wasn't particularly well. Um, she'd been a little bit unwell, and um, we. They, well, my parents took her over and, you know, we weren't sure what it was. They found like a lump, or not a lump, but they found like a, a mass under her spine. Um, so they got tested. It wasn't it wasn't cancer, which is a good thing. Um, it was an infection and we thought that she would pull through, but um, it was, the infection had spread to the point where it just spread throughout her body and her body wasn't fighting the antibiotics. We went over on Monday and we had to say goodbye to her and that was hard and I obviously didn't vlog it and I haven't vlogged a lot I haven't vlogged, this is the first day this week I've vlogged um, but she, I mean I guess she was seven and a half and she had a really great life as you 
you know, probably saw if you watched the vlogs. Um, and it was just really sad to see her go. I was I tried to be quite strong for my family because um, I know my my dad did a lot with her. Like he was the one who walked her and looked after her mainly, and his his life sort of revolved around her in a way. So for him, it was probably the hardest. And I just I've just been kind of I I mean I've been coping with it okay, but it's just been a shock. And the hardest thing I think to come to sort of to deal with is the fact that it just didn't have to happen, you know, it was it was somehow she got an infection and we don't know what the infection was, we don't know what caused it yet. Um they could have operated to take out they said it was like a foreign body had got into her, um they could have operated to take it out, but at the point in which that at the point which they figured it out, she was just too badly infected that she would an operation would probably kill her basically and yeah, so we, we said goodbye to her. Um, she was quite peaceful. She wasn't in any really any pain. Um, but I thought I would maybe read just just to read the the thing I put on Facebook at the start of the week. So this is basically this is what I wrote on Facebook. Rest in peace, Gracie. You'll suffer no longer. You lived seven and a half active years, full of life right till the end. You are our lovable little fluff ball who was gentle and hurt nothing. You were too good for a world that took you away so suddenly. Sleep tight, my little puppy. I'll love and miss you always. It's just funny how we become, we become like, attached to animals. Like, you know, they're cute and cuddly and we want dogs and pets and... You know, we, we they're just, they're just animals, but we, we grow these special bonds with them and we, you know, they become part of your life and your family and just it's funny how it's funny that that happens you know I don't know if there's anything else that I'm gonna say on it I mean I, I other than I've just I mean on behalf of myself and my family like the amount of love and support that we've received on social media and in person is just it's been great you know um, Gracie was a pretty well-loved dog um, everybody, everybody loved Gracie um, you know, she was just a lo that lovable little dog, and uh, you know, a lot of people were sad when it happened. But um, I just really, you know, it really helped all of the love and support that we got from everyone, and especially you know my close friends and family who um, were very supportive. And I really, really thank you all for that. Um, it, in some ways, it, it really helped, but like it was funny because after making the Facebook post and getting like so many comments and reactions like because I've got all these comments like I would forget about it and then I would see these comments I'd be like oh yeah that just happened so but <laughs> I mean all the best intentions but so yeah anyway I'm gonna um, stop talking about this now um, I think I've rambled on and um, well, we will catch up with Kieran um, and uh, that'll probably be the next clip catching up with Kieran and Jack after their eight hour workout um, and we'll see how see how that went for them. I just say it was a good idea to buy a hot chocolate with caramel. I also just say it was a good, a good idea to get this macaroni pie which I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a good idea but we'll find out and it looks delicious. So good. Good into morning vlog. <laughs> it is a new day um, it's like really early, it's like 8am um, I was up at like half 6 today Because um, I have an appointment in Carnegie Gym For a review thingy um, So I'm going to do that um, Didn't catch the end of Kieran and Jack's thing the other day But it was really, I think they did a really good job And they managed to hit like £600 our target So I'll leave the link down below where you can donate And help them out, it'd be really good So yeah, heading into the gym To do a review programme Because um, it's been about a month and a bit So I'm meeting with Mark, who's one of the guys at the gym. It's actually really quiet, it's like 8am and it's really quiet in the uh, centre. I wonder if my mum is in there. I don't think so. My mum does classes in there sometimes. But she was in doing like, parents and stuff. I think she's probably in this orchid gym. Look how quiet it is. Pretty cool though. And I'm going to do here, yeah. Well, I'm back from the gym, by the way, just thought you should know. Um, and it's lunchtime. <laughs> I'm making um something interesting. I have uh, meatballs 
on toast with melted cheese. <laughs> cheese needs to melt more. We're just gonna put it until it melts. You know, it would probably help if the grill had been turned on. <laughs> now it's starting to smell like melted cheese. <laughs> and like that, meatballs melted cheese. They tied cucumber. Mmm, meatballs and cheese and cucumber on toast are looking really good. Like magic, I'm in Edinburgh. <laughs> it's funny how the power of video takes from one place to another, isn't it? Well, I am um, just heading over the train. Funny story, actually. I have um, a microphone I was using last week at Texture and other places to do interviews with people. Um, it's a little one that plugs into the iPhone. And uh, the funny story about that one is I still have it. <laughs> so I had to, instead they're taking it down to Birmingham to a conference tomorrow, they were like, where's the mic? And I'm like, oh, Aaron's got it. So I'm having to come over here to drop it off. Let's do another interview. Uh, just randomly rearranged it, so it should be good. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the Apple store to um, look at iPhones again. So obviously I still can't decide iPhone 7 I would like to get when I do get a new iPhone. So yeah, that's about... Oh, oh, I bumped into my friend Craig on the train. And I'm hopefully we'll watch him for pool sometimes. There should be some good pool and drinks and stuff coming up in the future. When he's not busy. <laughs> well, uh, I am done. And I just went to the Apple store had a look at the iPhone. I think I'm going to go for the matte finish, the black matte one. Um, just, it's not the jet black, which is the... Um, the one that's not matte, the glossy one. I think I'm just going to go for the matte one. Um, but I do get it, which will be in a couple of months, probably, hopefully. So we'll see. I'm not going to go, I think there's a McDonald's up here because I really want some ice cream, so. Mmm, fuck. McDonald's. Strangely, the McDonald's just off Princess Street seems to be closed. Like, they, it was closed and the unit just looked completely empty. So, I am. Um, I know there's another one though, just off Princess Street Mall, so I'm going to go in there on the way to the train station. Make mission complete. Mm. I, need to, I need to find a bin for this lid um, in this place that has no bins. I guess there are no bins. Apparently for security reasons. Thanks for watching the vlog. If you did like it, please feel free to hit the like button right down there. You can also share it with your friends and family if you did enjoy it. And you can please leave a comment down there, let me know what you think. Um, it's been a little bit of a mixed emotions kind of vlog, so um, a little bit different. Um, but yeah, if you could, um, if you did enjoy it, I would very much appreciate doing those things of which I mentioned. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next vlog. Adios.